Have you tried and failed multiple times to learn a language? You tried so many different things, so many different ways, and none of it seems to work. If you're asking yourself, why can't I learn languages? I'm about to tell you. And you know, obviously you can learn languages, but I'm gonna talk about seven different reasons why you may feel like you can't learn languages and what to do about it. If you're new here, hi. My name is Jamie, I am a language coach, and my job is to help online language learners feel confident in their language learning and make educated decisions about what to do in order to achieve their language learning goals. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. The first reason why you may be thinking that you can't learn a language is that every app and resource out there says that they do the exact same thing. I mean, it comes in different flavors, but you have learn a language in five minutes a Day. you have the most efficient way to learn a language, you have science's best approach to learning a language, you have learn a language like a child. These are great marketing lines that sound really good and they're really motivating, but they don't say anything real. So how are you supposed to know what one resource does that another one doesn't do and which one you should be choosing? Especially when they all have hundreds of thousands of reviews saying how wonderful it is. Like there's no way to actually know. So of course you try all these different language learning resources, you don't know what to expect and somehow none of them solve your problem. That's not your fault. I mean, this is the exact reason why I started reviewing every language learning resource that I could find. If you go to my website, link below in the description, you can find all of my reviews. When every resource on the market says the same thing and also says nothing at all, how are you supposed to make the right decision? How are you supposed to feel like you are inherently able to learn a language? It's completely natural for you to think that it's your fault that you are unable to learn a language because you've tried and failed where everybody else has succeeded, right? Not exactly, but we'll get to that. The second reason why you may feel like you can't learn a language is because of generic advice. Just here on YouTube, there are like thousands upon thousands of pieces of generic advice for language learners. And that's not to say that those are wrong. That's not to say those are bad. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is it's really difficult to diagnose and fix the problem of any individual language learner. I mean, it's something that I dealt with for years when I was struggling with motivation to learn a language, for example, or ways to enjoy learning a language. Those are pretty vague ideas and I didn't realize that. I was just looking for help. But when I would watch videos, read blog posts, they all had very generic answers. But not only could they not give specific answers because these are pieces of content meant for hundreds of thousands of people with different problems that you know could talk to each individual viewer every single time. It can be really, really difficult to diagnose and solve a very specific solution for a very specific language learner, especially when the thing that you are feeling, the problem that you are experiencing isn't the actual problem, it's the symptom of a problem. And that's something that I experience a lot when I have my first conversations with my language learning clients is they tell me about a problem that they're having, but then, you know, as we go along in a conversation, I realize the problem that they think is their problem isn't their actual problem. It's just one of the many ways that their problem is showing up. So when those generic, not bad, generic pieces of advice aren't helpful, as helpful as you'd like them to be, it can feel like you are unable to learn languages. And the third reason why you may feel like you're unable to learn a language is because of our like inherent urge to blame ourselves for something that doesn't go completely right. I see this a lot, not only in conversations that I have with language learners, but also in a lot of the rhetoric online about different language learning resources, saying that this is the best way to learn a language with the like insinuation that if this doesn't work for you, there's something wrong with you. Now, nobody necessarily says that outright, but there's giant like implication insinuation that people really take on and really genuinely believe that it's their fault. So instead of realizing what isn't working and looking for something that is working, we tend to like absorb the issue and assume that it's our fault and that we are inherently flawed. And that flaw is that we are unable to learn languages because on the outside, Side, like I said, everybody else seems to be able to using these resources. So if you are unable to, it must be something wrong with you, right? Number four is limiting beliefs. Now this is absolutely huge. In fact, it's the very first lesson in my course that I take language learning clients through and it just like, it blows their mind every time. Every human on this planet has a limiting belief of some sort. 
Um, some people are better at recognizing it and switching around and like changing the way that our brain works. But a lot of language learners have these limiting beliefs that they can't learn a language because they're too old, they don't have enough time, they don't have enough money, all sorts of things. And these limiting beliefs, they don't feel like limiting beliefs. They feel like truths. They feel like facts. And so, of course, we're not going to push past them. We're not going to try and like prove them wrong because their facts. So when we have these limiting beliefs, we genuinely believe that we cannot learn languages. So when we're asking ourselves, why can't I learn a language? We come up with an answer. Can you relate to any of these points? Hit the like button to let me know. Number five is the well-meaning advice of another language learner. Now, again, this isn't to say that getting advice from a language learner is wrong. Absolutely not. But it becomes a problem when you take the advice and you treat it as fact. So if somebody recommends this language learning app that works well for them and then you try it and it doesn't work for you, you take it as fact that because this worked for that other person and it doesn't work for you, that there's something inherently wrong with you. And then again, it becomes that same thought process as why can't I learn languages? This can be a language learning resource suggestion. This can be a strategy. This could mean an approach to motivation. This could mean how often you're learning a language. This could mean which, whatever language it is that you're learning in general. Not knowing how to respond to that advice can really lead us to believe that we can't learn languages. Number six is not accepting the fact that we are human. Okay, we are not just robots where you put in a specific combination of resource strategy, mindset, routine, put it into our machine, our like robot machine, and out comes fluency. That's not how this works. You know, there are ebbs and flows to language learning. It requires a long-term commitment, yes, but that doesn't mean you have to be constantly learning all the time. And I find that a lot of language learners, they get started on learning language, they get started on a routine schedule that works for them, and then all of a sudden something changes, something trips them up, something else happens in their life, and they're thrown off their language learning. They think it's because there's something wrong with them, and they take it personally and say, I see it's proof that I can't learn a language because I was doing so well and then I got knocked off. When in reality, you're just human. Everybody needs to take a break sometimes. Every Everybody needs to focus on other things. Everybody has other priorities. It's not that you are unable to learn a language. It's just that you need to lower your expectations of yourself. You are human. You're not like a magical, ethereal being that just can learn languages all the time. It would be awesome, but that's just not reality. Successful language learning isn't about getting in 10 hours all at once and then just like breaking yourself. It's about being responsive to your life circumstance and being responsive to your needs and your desires and things like that. And the seventh reason why you may feel like you can't learn a language is because you don't know what you're looking for. I mean, the classical online language learner journey goes, great, I wanna learn a language. What am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna play Duolingo. Oh wow, this is really awesome. I'm learning so much and I'm so motivated for like a week. A month maybe, but after a while, Duolingo gets monotonous, boring, annoying, very surface level, stressful almost, like anxiety ridden because you're stuck with your streak and you're terrified of losing your streak. So you lose all your motivation, you give up, you don't know what else to do, and again, you take it personally and assume that it's something that's wrong with you. We have this assumption that because a language learning app is the most popular one on the market, it's the best one for us, and that's just not true. So we know why we feel like we're unable to learn languages, and we know theoretically that it's not true, that everybody's able to learn languages, so what do we do? What's the next step? The thing is, all of these very, very, very common problems in language learning, they are reactive. When you solve these problems, you're being reactive to problems in your language learning, which means you experience a problem in your language learning that is not only incredibly common, but also very preventable. You fix a little fire, ignoring the big fire. <laughs> 
instead of reactive, it's always better to be proactive. So how do you be proactive? It really all depends on your approach. Now, like I said, I've talked to and worked with countless language learners who have experienced problems just like this and so many others. In those experiences and conversations, I have found the uniting thread between all problems. It's all about shifting how you're approaching language learning. If you click the link below in the description, you can access my free training where I tell you exactly what that approach is. This is an approach that's been tested with many, many, many language learners who are experiencing this problem problem and has showed them wild success. Click the link in the description to access the free training to learn all about this proactive, not reactive approach to language learning. And if you want another little taste of my approach to language learning, check out this video where I talk about the number one key to learning languages and it's not like a specific product or strategy or anything like that. This is real advice that I wish I had like years ago. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.